you are welcome to annex videos and in this video today it's going to be very short but very helpful to teachers i'm going to teach you how to mark in google docs so i've already i already have my google document already open and i'm going to share with you briefly and you see how you can mark a document with ease without even crying can imagine <laughs> I'll share my screen with you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So there is a document that I've entitled how to mark a document in Google Docs. Uh, when you're going to mark the you should know which symbols you're going to use. Maybe you need a tick, you need a cross, you need some smiling faces, you need question marks. Uh, you can easily pick all those at once so that marking becomes very, very easy. So you come to the insert button come to special character when you come to special character um, there are several special characters that you need or that you can choose but to be quick because if you have no time come in this box which is on the right hand side left click move the cows or the mouse for example in that form they'll give you some special characters that you can choose like in this case let me choose this heavy tick then I may also need a cross. I put the cross. Definitely they give me several. Then I choose one. Then I may also need a question mark, especially if a student has left um, a gap or says does not understand. I can put the question mark. I may need to put it there. Definitely they're giving me. So I choose any. Then also, you may need some smiling faces, especially if the answer is so good. Smiling face, just draw, or their eyes, or their mouth. They'll give you what is appropriate. You choose, you can choose that. I think those are some of the special characters that you would need to use. And now, you see all the symbols that you can use are just pasted here. So let me say I'm going to use the tick. I'll just come and highlight it and then copy it, Control C. So when, let's say, for example, the question is explain why nicotine is a drug and the student has explained very well, I just press Control V and the tick will be there. I'm moving to the next question and it's asking describe the effect of gas exchange system of the following components of tobacco smoke. Um, and they're talking about carbon monoxide and the answer is really right. You don't need to suffer. Just press Ctrl V and the tick is already there. Then talking about that, uh, um, and the student has given a correct answer, press still you press Ctrl V. So now in this other question, uh, the student says that I don't understand. So what would you do in that case? Still you can, you can just come here and pick one of your symbols uh maybe you can put a question mark you can put the question mark so you can control copy control copy and just place it there just place it there and you can even put a comment you can put a comment you can put a comment you can highlight and then put a comment maybe you can say uh, you can say that uh, well, maybe you can give the student a reference, maybe refer to page, refer to page, uh, maybe uh, page 67 in this book for more guidance. So you can use that also. And then assuming uh, a student gave, let's say, a wrong answer, like maybe like in this case, discuss the link and the student is giving you a wrong answer, still you can just go back to insert or you can just use the symbols that we already have here. You can just choose the one of the cross, highlight it, copy it, scroll down, move to the answer, and then um, put it there, paste it there, control V. Control V is to paste. So at the end, uh, you are able to mark very fast and you're able to award marks as is as possible. So that's how we can mark when we are in Google Docs. I guess you have enjoyed 
this video and this video should be of great help to you in case you have liked my video please don't forget to share it don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel thank you very much thank you have a nice day as you teach online that is enoch yeah. or you can also visit my website for more details on for more useful resources they are free of charge however you're free to donate thank you